Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore and this is Divinity Original Sin 2. Hey, tree stump. Alright, it's empty. That means it's just going to be downhill from here. Alright, we'll talk to the pilgrims. There's not really much to do here. Um, mostly it's just going to be re reiterating things we kind of already know about. Or already assuming. I can't believe that I made it through Stormdale only to be locked out of Arx. Never missed a Lucian's day in my life until now. That's heads to me and... Lucian? Alright, you're speaking lizard man. My father sent me to pray to Lucian. To beg forgiveness for my sins, or he'd never look at me again. I hope they'll let us into Ark soon. Luckily, they don't seem to mind uh, source powers. Maybe I should have just stayed put in Driftwood. I could praise Lucian there just as well as I can in this bloody camp. I came here to beg the Magisters to release my brother from Fort Joy. He never did anything wrong. And he's probably dead. Don't worry. Lucian will reward your faith and heal you. I must have breathed in some of that death fog. Oh, my lungs ache. And I can't see straight. I could trade with some of these people, but honestly, they probably have junk. I want to visit Lucian's shrine. To try and understand why it kills my people and destroys our home. I heard some huge crash in the mountains last night. Maybe thunder, maybe void woken. I'll be glad to get into the city. I'm glad the right. journey is nearly over. So, mo more of the same, essentially. So yeah, this is the quickest way to get to the docks. So let's take the quickest way to the docks. Hey, money. And junk. All right. Also, did I talk to you? Don't worry, Chief. I'm on high alert. Um. So you noticed she was in pretty bad shape on the island. You had expected the demon to make an appearance. She says nothing for a moment, but chews her lip, deep in thought. To be honest, so did I. When we first arrived on the island, I could barely keep a lid on it. But when we fought the gods, it suddenly grew quiet. I think it's waiting, biding its time. For what, I'm not totally sure, but it's eager. I wish I didn't have to say that. Alright. And that's good for now. Obviously you can talk about relationships and stuff, but... Not gonna worry about that. Alright. Back off, pigeon! This is my bridge, and I don't suffer fools on it. Hey, he's level 18. I'm also really close to hitting level 19 at this point. So, let's go ahead and get started. I accidentally encouraged it, so now it has more HP. That's good. Now. Should be alright. The enormous, unusually red troll looms over you with his fists clenched threateningly. His expression is stern, yet you can see the tiniest twinkle in his intelligent eyes. Didn't hear me the first time, Harrod. So you've heard him. Uh, heard him fine. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't suffer fools, and you're not a fool. He smiles a jagged and magnanimous grin. Each pitchfork pointed tooth seems to threaten you individually. We'll see. You want to cross the bridge. You want to cross the worst bridge in the world. Now that's a claim. Not tentatively and ask to cross the bridge. I mean, look at this wreck. It's not even a bridge. It's just some void damned trees that fell across the river trees trees he kicks the edge of the makeshift bridge 
sending a sizable chunk of Earth flying perilously close to your eye. These days, everything is in decline. Especially my mood. For such a bridge, only one toll is acceptable. Blood! Wow. Just went all out, didn't ya? Alright, let's examine ya. I know you're... You're weak against fire. Alright, well, I do Phoenix Dive. Yeah, I can get you. Actually, I don't think Phoenix Dive will even work, because, like, for some re last time I tried messing with this, like, not, like, surfaces just don't appear on this thing. But, um, we'll give it a shot anyway. What? What? Alright, he's burning, so I don't, I think that'll stop his regeneration. Crippling blow. Not that it matters, because I just hit for 4,600. Alright. Still need uh, quite a bit more to level up. Alright. Big old bag of loot. Eh, not too shabby. That is a... That is a agreeable amount of loot right there. Uh... 279 magic armor. Uh, that ain't too shabby. But it doesn't provide any crit, and I need crit. As much crit as we can get. Just check it for spirits. Alright, so we're up to here now. Something very bad has happened in the harbor. Yeah, I believe it's a kraken. Travel, they said. See all the wonders of the world, they said. I'd rather be sailing. Alright. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna run on down. Ah, there's the trouble. The, uh, the Void Predators are over there. Level 18, too. I move all the way up the dead end, just, so, just in case there's buried treasure. Not that we really need much anymore. Open path in the pilgrimage, huh? Check all the sacks. Hey, potato. Actually, I think that was bread. The spirit of an elf makes a dash for freedom, only for something to seize him and throw him backwards like a rag doll. Hmm, sucks to be him. Roguery. Divine belt. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to be taking this uh, act a little bit slower since I'm not as familiar with it. Holy cow. That is a, that's a heck of an upgrade. Still get the critical chance. Yeah, I'll take it all. There we go. And then I'll give this to you. Honestly, don't need it. Yeah, you don't, but yeah, you can kind of use any all the armor you can get, so there you go. Alright, and read the book on roguery. Of rogues, in his short description of a particular specimen of Vagabond, he claims to have encountered uh, in his travels across the land. Hubert talks of shadowy skills largely involving short blades and the ability to liberate people of their belongings with or without their prior knowledge, or indeed their survival.
Fuck. This one. Not titled. Military essays. What makes an ex expert swordsman? There are three types of swordsmen. The beginners, the bravados, and the masters. If you have already learned basic techniques, you can easily distinguish the beginners from the experts. A beginner does not know how to hold a sword properly, and his fighting stance is completely unbalanced. The bravados are versed in the arts of sword fighting, but they reveal their knowledge merely through uh, exhibition. Um, you can find many bravados at fairs where they demonstrate their skills in front of the, of the excited masses. A real sword master is a mentor who travels from town to town to teach his skills, but he will always hide his best tricks. A true sword master will teach you everything you know, not everything he knows. The spirit of a lizard struggles to extract his legs from under some ghostly flaming debris. There's a loud crack from overhead. He throws his hands up to shield himself. An avalanche of further spectral debris collapses on top of him. Okay. So we got multiple predators to deal with. Alright. We'll do it this way. Charge! Bye, Kraken. Oh sure, wait until after the buffs wear off. Alright, well, I can fight here. There's only three of them. And we leveled up. Direction, there's four of them. Killed one of them. Direction five. Good for them. Yeah, Grog. You said it. Alright, I'll deal with you next. Up. And... Shop. Just go a little bit further. Unfortunately, no. I'm just going to loot this, grab that, and back down. Oh no! Teamwork. Alright. Let's see, what do we want to use? We'll use poison dart. I'm ready. Oh 
go up there. Oh, I got frozen. How? Yeah, how'd she get frozen? Oh, that's slightly annoying. How'd that miss? Just nothing's worked today. Working today. Uh, do I have a solution for that? I don't. Uh. Are you kidding me? I'm just barely off. But I can target you with that somehow. part of the fight. I can step through this. Alright. Not the cleanest of fights, but it, it did the job. More importantly, we leveled up. Alright, I want to upgrade Scoundrel. And keep upgrading Wits until this is capped out. Uh, my intelligence is capped. Completely capped now. The question is, is what do I work on next? Um, I can build up constitution, but that's not really that important. I can go wits. That's also not that important. I mean, there is a... There is a... Um, There is a talent that lets you crit with magic, I think. I don't remember what it's called, though. Do I already have it? I can't have it already. Yeah, I can go, I can eventually pick up Savage, Sword of Lich, and start going crits. Uh, I mean, to be honest, it's not really something I care that much about, though. Um, I can start working on Finesse, just so I can do extra damage with bows, but... As you can see, I have more stuff to, I have enough spells to keep myself busy as well, so... Not a huge lot of op, not, not a great amount of choices here. I can just start working on Constitution and just make her tanky. I kind of wish there was a little bit better options. So yeah, at this point, even if I started working on it, I'm not going to do enough damage. Yeah, it's just going to have to be Constitution. Wow, that was a... It definitely buffs up the freaking health, though. Holy cow. Alright, and then for our skills, um, we pick up Scoundrel later, 5, 5, 4, and 5, here you Thurge, boop. Okay, takes care of all that, let's loot some stuff.
grenade. of a woman throws phantom rocks in a desperate attempt to stave off unseen threats. Guess it didn't work. Yeah, these things carry clouded diamonds, which are pretty decent. What's this? I found something. <laughs> a stash out in here. That pack doesn't have anything in it, and a pouch that also has nothing in it. So it looks like it was the start of a stash, but was never finished. Alright. Uh, hey Losa, do you, can you possibly pick this lock? I don't think you can, but I'll try. Hey, it worked. Good job, Lissa. Alright. Head on down here. I noticed a spirit there for a second. Arming arrow. The spirit of a dwarf cowers behind some rubble. One of her legs is suddenly yanked backwards, and she's hauled upwards into the air. Okay. Augmenter up there, we can grab that later. Also, this part here is climbable. Alright. Got some pickaxes, pickaxes. What do you got for me? Not too shabby. But I have better. The spirit of woman gazes up at something looming high above. Her face is a mask of terror. She jumps in front of the echoed impression of her since-fled child. A huge, unseen force suddenly slams her into the ground, flattening her form into a puddle. Yeah, that sounds about right. Glad I ran through fire for that. Alright, what do you got for me? Divine tier gloves. Strength based. Of course I just upgraded my gloves, didn't I? Uh, side grade, but not for the stuff I need. So, 
It's all good. All right. We apply spirit sight, and we'll check the other side now. The spirit of a dock worker thrashes about, trying to shake something off of his back. Alright, so yeah, we can't get anywhere from here. Let's go around the other way. The spirit of a paladin lurks near some cargo at the edge of the dock. Explore the spirit's memories. You do your best to remain inconspicuous, observing the scene from behind some barrels and crates stacked near the water's edge. The Lord Dread looms ahead of you. Dallas herself descends the gangway, Freedman following at a distance. You need to report this to Lord Ken. The traitors are here. It's only when you try to sneak away that you realize something has curled itself around your ankle. A powerful tentacle. It pulls you towards the water. Got some info. We learned that Dallas and Vertiment arrived in, in arcs aboard the Lord Dread. Run across that. It's okay, Lo, so you can just do this. The Lord Dread. Or what's left of the Lord Dread. Alright. The precious key, but I don't know what that's for. I'd like to fight the Kraken, but I don't think it that's gonna happen here. Strike terror into their hearts. It seems to be a soldier's journal of successful tours where the author f uh, focuses on scaring the enemy into surrendering. You assume it's, it is a peaceful treatise on war for psychology until you find a small sheet of paper hidden within, uh, which details how to make a grenade that can strike uh, terror into the hearts of, of your adversaries. Unfortunately, it seems to require one tormented soul. Not a big deal. Elemental totem, huh? Take care of all that. All that. There I go, I made it made some junk there. Kind of just clearing out junk while I'm here. Uh, go ahead and give me a bunch of lockpicks just in case. I can make flour if I really care to. I can make another armor of the Eternals if I really wanted to. Yeah, why not? Let's make one. See if it's any different from what I had before. Oh my gosh, it is uh, quite a bit different. It's uh, the HP buff is increased, but the real significant thing is the increase in physical armor. So yeah, that's the thing we're going to be dealing with. So yeah, let's swap that in. There you go, and then I will go ahead and uh, manage runes, extract, then go back to gear. I want that one, select, insert, giant thunder rune. Alright. 
Okay, cool. That made her slightly more durable. Alan Gert, level 18, unique amulet, plus 5 intelligence. And an official looking letter. To all white magisters aboard the Lord Dread, Dallas and Verdamin have departed for Lucian's crypt beneath uh, the Ark's cat cathedral, and it is there I uh, wish that you join them there forthwith. Dallas has gained a means of entry, and it is there that she shall reveal the grand design of the Divine Order. These are your orders. Failure to comply will be considered treason to the, uh, to the law of Lucian. Ray Raymond. Can I kill Raymond? I'm pretty sure I've killed Raymond. We learned it from a letter on board the wreck of the Lord Dread that Dallas intends to uh, access the Crypt of Lucian, located beneath Ark the Ark's Cathedral. We must do the same to have any hope of stopping her. The Edoran is still in Dallas' possession, and within it, the, the power she stole. Alright. So, yeah, I, I would like to go ahead and get the plus 5 intelligence. It also has a living wall as a, as a spell attached to it, but I don't really care too much about that. Boop. Alright, and then manage runes, extract, select, insert, and so we want the uh, maximum armor, magic armor plus 4, 40. And buffs it a little bit. Yeah, why not? We'll go with that. Alright. Uh, last thing we need to grab is whatever that has, and then we'll exit this way. So this is level 19 armor? Yes it is. The spirit of a magister lies on the ground, struggling to draw breath. Ghostly silver blood pours from a stab wound in his chest. Reach into the spirit's memories. You keep your hand pressed over the wound in a vain attempt to staunch the bleeding. How did this happen? How did that Fredman creature manage to get the drop on you? You feel a chill spread throughout your body. Everything grows dark. You should warn someone that Freedman's domination leash isn't working, that he's dangerous. But it's too late. The darkness has seized hold of you and it isn't letting go. So it sounds like uh, Dallas is the one that's being messed with. Go figure. like uh got the rest of these metal scraps while we're here all right uh there's an augmenter we can grab i don't really care about it though so i'm not gonna bother we'll go this way actually we'll go this way
All right. Bone pile. Body over there. All right. A little eighteen dagger. I've spotted something. Lucio, level 18 shield, 3 strength, and all those, all that other junk. It's not too shabby. I think I've read these books before, I'm just going to go through them real quick, just in case. I learned a few things. And last one. Poison junk, thread and needle. I won't get run. So trouble up ahead. No big surprise there. Welcome to the city of Ark. Oh, graves. Here rests Maya Hallowdale, a devout and pious woman. She was taken too soon. Here rests Clyde Wellows, a devout follower of Lucian. All right, so back to where we started. There's a chest down there. Right there, in fact. Can you pick it? Yes, you can. Good. The Breath of the Gods and some other junk. Boop.
divine, divine spear, huh? It's a two-handed weapon, but it's finesse. So yeah, progress is up that way. But there's one more thing I want to check back up here. To Ark. To Paradise Downs and Driftwood. So yeah, this is the way to. Well, Rumia said something, but I completely missed it. It's all good. Shovel, huh? What's this? I found something. Indeed, I did. Look on source orbs. Uh, sure. Yeah, I already know that potion. And we already know those. Okay. Yeah, once we get into arcs, it's going to get uh, very crowded. I can go all the way up to there, but there's no benefit. There's a bird nest. That's in it. Trumpet of death. All right, I think that's everything. Let's go have ourselves one more fight. Seems like the life expectancy of magisters gets shorter and shorter. Notice this. Like a little back route here. And with, you know, stuff to climb. Neat. I, I went through the front gate when I went through here originally. That Magister is still drawing breath. Just about. A magister lies sprawled before you. The ground beneath him is stained with his blood. Several grievous wounds are visible across his body. Ask if the magister can hear you. The magister doesn't respond. He just lies there, struggling to draw breath. Uh, have a healing potion. The magister coughs and splutters as the potion slides down his throat. His eyes focus on you, then fill with fear. Ask what happened to him. The paladins attacked our barracks. I tried to flee, but was trapped between the fight and a void woke an attack. I remember pain and then falling. And then everything went black. Ask why the paladins attacked. Uh, they spewed some nonsense about magisters collaborating with the Black Ring. They could at least be honest if they just wanted to seize power from us. Tell them you want to hear more about what happened at the barracks before you ran. It all happened so quickly. The paladins cut down anyone who put up a fight. 
Magister Raymond and the other whites vanished. The escape routes were blocked. They must have barricaded themselves away. Uh, say w that you want to hear what he knows about Raymond. Magister Raymond? He commanded all of the white magisters in Arcs. He answered to nobody, except maybe Dallas herself. He must be dead by now, surely. wonder where he was trying to flee to. Uh, I, I don't know. I was just trying to save my own skin. There wasn't time to put much thought into it. I want no trouble, I swear. I'll leave all this behind and start a new life someplace. Fine, get out of here. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm never coming back here. Got better things to do than to stomp on an ant. Alright. spotted something. Well, yeah, we already spotted that earlier. But whatever. Can't reach that. Hmm. Guess I can't grab it at all. What's this? I found something. Yeah, I didn't know about this spot back here. I mean, it's not that important, obviously. Tremor grenade's not too shabby, though. Not that I've had to use any of them yet. Tremor grenades are actually really expensive, so... Part of the reason why I haven't Void used them. Woken, and they're cornered. Let's help finish them off. Yep, so the fight's still going on here. Bye bye Paladin Vishar. Or Vishlar. Holy cow, that's a lot of them in there. You are you sure you wanna provoke all of them? I mean I'm not I'm not gonna judge, but uh Alright. So if at least one of them survives, I can talk to them and ask them questions. Uh, paladins aren't much better than magisters in a lot of ways. I mean, for one thing, they just came in here and just started slaughtering magisters. Um, I, th I don't know if it's entirely because of the letter we sent um, that said like the magisters were doing shit with the, uh, the Black Ring, but that could possibly be one of the reasons. I don't know if that would still happen if you don't send the letter. Of course, that was so long ago. That was literally multiple acts ago. But I have no frame of reference to uh, compare to, so I don't know if it actually makes a difference. So yeah, I can actually get there pretty easily if I wanted to. I can get to really anyone at, at this point. Yeah, let's just, let's clean house. Surprise. Oh, they're yellow. <laughs> I accidentally hit him. I'm, he, he lived, so that, that's important. Yeah, but I, I actually hit him with it. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Shit happens. God, the three teleports, that was ridiculous. I literally killed five things. And heavily wounded a paladin. Alright, let's talk. As Voidwoken attacks go, you think that one was particularly devastating. 
the great city of Arx may be finally ready to fall. Not if anything, not if I have anything to do with it. Saving Arx? Who's got time for that? Yeah, I know, right? And there's a lot. I read about someone matching your description in the latest dispatch. And now there'll be another tale about you for our war owls to whistle across the four corners of Rivalon. Yep. So yeah, we, when we sent that war owl about uh, the inform what we saw back in the uh, Magister camp, um, yeah, the paladins didn't take that too well. You saved my best paladins by the skin of their teeth. The lads are brave, but they're no match for Voidwoken, especially right off the back of chasing down Magisters. I tell you, they'll be chanting your name in the mess hall tonight. The captain sobers and curls her lip at the void woken corpses nearby. She spits a bloody tooth in the direction of the closest one. Ask her about this dispatch. Did it truly mention you? Of course. You whistled up a war owl to warn us about the Magisters, right? Lord Kem mobilized all us paladins against them that very hour. Hmm. So yeah, I wonder if you if you didn't uh, whistle for the owl if it'll still happen. Maybe I'll look it up later. Uh, say that you're in a hurry. Uh, you need to find Dallas urgently. She eyes you curiously. You won't find the leader of the Magisters walking in the open in arcs. Not after what they've done. This is Paladin territory now. But check in with Lord Kem. He's conducting an investigation of all the Magisters in the barracks. He might know something about her whereabouts. Um, ask her how the struggle between the Paladins and Magisters is going. Could be worse. At least Arx is now under the control of Lord Kem. And if you ha hadn't guessed already, you can probably assume that Lord Kem's a jerk too. After your communique, he instigated investigations into every Magister in the city. We're sure it's the collusion between the Magisters and the Black Ring that drew the Voidwoken here. To think they blamed all sorcerers. The only question remaining is why? Why? The Magisters have a lot to answer for. Those left alive, that is. Mm. Well, it's Losa speaking, so shrug and say that these inter-order fights are not to do with you. She scowls at you, eyes laden with scorn. You've already fought Voidwoken in a Magister Keep, overtaken by Paladins. Maybe it's too late to back out now. If you don't mind, I've got papers to file. Seek out Kem if you need more. Alright. We'll go ahead and uh, grab something here. There we go. All right. So I got that going for us. So yeah, the missive we sent literally was like, hey, collusion's happening. They're like, oh, well, we better kill everybody. Because that's how things work here. Oh, wow, it's about to op I actually opened that. <laughs> Oops. Well, luckily I didn't piss off anyone. Well, it wouldn't matter if I did piss off anyone. Of course, all that... Uh, did, I, did I miss anything else? No, I didn't. Okay. Let's go uh, loot the bodies and then we'll be on our way. You talk to the spirits too. But yeah, I believe it's probably not all Magisters that are bad, even though we have plenty of reason to hate them anyway. It's more of a... Probably the, the white, whatever they're called, the white cloaks or whatever they're called, are probably the ones that are behind all the issues. So one branch of the Magisters, I say. But that's alright. I mean, what what's the worst that's going to happen? Just everyone's going to die. Anything else of note? Get on... Okay, I know you can get through that. Let's do... What of a heck of a fight, though. Alright, 
Got a couple of spirits here. The faint spirit's voice is little more than a whisper echoing inside your mind. No. No. Treacherous paladins. There can be no divinity in an order that betrays its own. The spirit suddenly looks up at you, eyes wide and accusing. All right. She turns to you, and suddenly you are deep in her soul. Tendrils of anger and pain weave around you, through you, as you wander the chambers of her memories. All right, send an emotion into her world. Forgiveness. Give it the power to defeat all the anger, the fear, the hate. Give her the strength to let go. You are a magister and proud. You did what you could, and you did what was right, and now it is over. The world and its problems are no longer your concern. Now you may leave. All right. A wave of sadness rolls off the spirit, sadness mixed with betrayal. The Magister was stabbed in the back by one they'd known as a friend. Yep, it's gotten messy. The spirit laughs. A terrible, cynical guffaw that says that the world is an evil place where no one is safe. But inside the laughter, there's shame. The Magister knows that he sinned and suspects that his death was deserved. You killed the Voidwoken! This city needs more like you. Oh, I can show you the city does not need more than like me. a warrior defeating the void woken like that. Yeah, you guys just watched, didn't ya? Heard you saved our lads' lives. My gratitude. So yeah, uh, paladins aren't much better. They've kind of just been slaughtering everybody now. Heard old Alex died trying to summon a void woken. Never thought I'd see the day. And needless to say, there's uh, Lord Kim's over here. Um, I'll talk briefly about this. Um, there's an event that's going to happen here. Um, if you have high enough persuasion, you can convince Lord Kim to not kill the Magister that's here. Um, but if you fail it, uh, he's just going to flat out kill him and you won't be able to intervene. Um, so really the only way to intervene is to attack them first. So I'll probably be doing that next time. And I won't feel bad for it for numerous reasons. But yeah, they they're, they are slaughtering the Magisters at this point. When, when it's probably the white Magisters that are probably causing all the issues. What I like is I can loot these bodies here. But this body of burnt, this burning body pile here, nope, that's that belongs to paladins. That's paladin stuff there. You can't you can't loot that. And this guy's literally probably scavenging too. That are looking for, you know, family or something. The bastards burn well. I'll say that. And there's a bunch of uh, spirits around here. Ugh, that smell. Ugh, that smell. I blame Alexander for this.
Alright. Get our checkpoint up here. Gonna let Janae ring for our troubles. And we'll just go hang out here for a bit. Away from everything else. I've spotted something. Has a lot of poison fish. All right. I'll identify that ring real quick, and then we'll go ahead and call it a video. That one is not too shabby. I will go ahead and get rid of the mist descends for it. All right. So, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Divinity Original Sin 2. See you guys later.